Hi everyone, welcome. In this video, I'm going to provide a short and a brief overview of the CCNA switching, routing and wireless essential scores, commonly referred to as SRWE. This is the second of the three courses that make up the CCNA curriculum of NetAcad. So in this, primarily the outline of the course is when you compare it with to the first CCNA course, which is the introduction to networks, it primarily concentrates on the basics of networking, including the layers of the TCP IP reference model, the protocols that are used in these layers, the different types of addressing IPv4 and IPv6, and basic configuration of device, devices. Here, in this particular course, in this SRWE course, it mainly focuses on the switching technologies and the router operations in networks. A student will have uh, knowledge about setting up small to medium business networks and also configuring wireless local area networks. Talking about the objectives, and, uh, and in simpler terms, the skill set that the student will be acquiring after completion of the course, these are the list of the objectives. A student will be able to configure VLANs, inter-VLAN routing, and apply security best practices. He will be able to troubleshoot inter-VLAN routing on layer three devices. And also, he will be able to configure redundancy on a switcher network using spanning tree protocol and ether channel. In addition, you will be able to troubleshoot Ether channel also. Explain how to support available and reliable networks using dynamic addressing and first hop redundancy protocols. The student will be able to configure dynamic address allocation in IPv6 networks using DHCP protocol. Also, a student will be able to configure WLANs using a wireless uh, LAN controller and layer two security best practices. He will be able to configure switch security to mitigate LAN attacks and configure IPv6 and IPv4 static routing on routers. So these are the objectives or the different skills that a student will be acquiring after successfully completion of this course. Now, this is a broad overview of the curriculum content. This, can, this particular course has 16 modules, 14 uh, labs, 31 packet tracer activities, 19 uh, syntax checker activities, 36 check your understanding quizzes, and 16 module quizzes. So most of them are uh, quite easy and the student should go through these to uh, familiarize themselves with the scenario and the concepts that they study as part of this course. There are five module group exams, one final exam, and unlike ITN, there are two PTSA exams here. So we have to take two packet tracer skills assessment exams. And, for, and all, as all of you are aware, one end of course survey to complete the course and get the certificate. So this is how the curriculum is planned and each and every module has got its own quizzes. And I suggest a, each and every student to go through those quizzes first before taking up the module group exams. Now as an overview, these are the different modules that are planned in this course. So module one covers basic device configuration, where we work with uh, switches and routers again. We did this uh, in ITN also. We will be covering a few more concepts on top of what we learned earlier. Module two covers the switching concepts. Module three will be providing you the basics of VLANs. Module four, inter-VLAN routing. So on these four modules, you have your first module group assessment, which covers switching concepts and VLANs exam. And after that, we have module five and module six, which are primarily uh, going to deal with redundancy in networks. Your STP and Ether channel, spanning tree protocol and Ether channel. And of these two modules, you have the second group exam called as redundant networks exam. After these two modules, we start working with DHCP version four, DHCP version six, Slack and FHRP concepts. Of these three modules, you have your third module group exam, available and reliable networks exam. Now module 10 and module 11, module 12, module 13 are actually dedicated for your wireless local area networks, where we study configuration of WLAN, concepts related to WLAN, switch security configurations, LAN security configurations. So on these four modules, you will be having your fourth module group exam, which is your layer two security and WLANs exam. Finally, the last three modules of this course, module 14, module 15, module 16, will cover concepts related to routing. So routing concepts, IP static routing, troubleshoot the static and default routes. 
of this you will be having your final group exam which is your routing concepts and configuration exam so this is an outline of the 16 modules that we have under this course and the different exams that you need to take in order to complete this course so with this i'll uh, st stop here so good luck for the course i'll be preparing the videos for the each and every module of this particular course and also the packet tracer activities which are part of this course please keep one thing in mind that uh, unlike ITN, this course is a little bit in-depth uh, analysis of the switching technologies and the router uh, technologies, the different configurations that we are going to use here. So, good luck. Thank you very much.